Edward! Hey, Tito! Long time no see, man! Ah, don't worry. Secret stash. There we go. Fresh as a daisy. All oh, right, COVID. Right. Elbow bump. The Great Toilet Paper Panic was by far one of the best things to come out of the pandemic. It made people stop and rethink their hygiene routines when it came to number two, especially with respect to the dry wipe. This is what's called a dabo. No, it's not a pail to bring to the beach and build sandcastles with, though I guess you can do that too. It's what Filipinos use to wash their sh**. We like clean butts and we cannot lie. You other Filipinos can't deny. And when you go back to room in another person's place with no tabo, such a disgrace, you get some. Toilet paper, a bunch, wanna wet it, but not too much. Deep in the bum bum wiping, then you flush it down in the piping. Oh, baby, wanna get rich, but tell me, did ya? Wipe your bum bum nice and clean with more than just. Right, 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 TP. If you've never seen a tabo before, it doesn't necessarily have to look like this. You can use this. Or this. Or even this. Look at that. Why would you throw that away? Just fill your towel up with water, lather up with some soap, and get to work. Dry wiping with toilet paper just won't cut it for most Filipinos out there. Growing up with a towel, I honestly don't fully understand it to this day. He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> But anyways, different cultures, different customs, I'm not here to start a war on ass wiping. I get it, for some people the thought of wiping your butt with bare hands is taboo. Taboo? What is this? Is tabo anak nang? For real though, let me know if you guys have already heard of a tabo down in the comments down below. You know, I'm just asking. So Ed, what the heck is this video about? You might be asking. That was just background. The tabo is far outdated as far as I'm concerned, and the bidet is where it's truly at. Bidets are a hands-free way to get that spick and span shine on your butt, and mine just broke. There are a few different types of bidets, each catering to a specific case. And I have three styles that I'm going to be looking at right now. The Porta Squirt, the Frosty Cheeks, and the Be Kind Behind. It even comes with its own carrying case. Primarily what this is used for is if you need to go while you're on the go. You're going to have to hold this when you're flipping this upside down. It can get messy. As long as you remember to do that, you're all good. What this does is it allows air to come inside when you're squeezing it so that it can force the water out. Oh yeah. I don't be on. There's leak. You have to remember to cover the hole. My like, shit language. This shit. I'm messy in the man. And I have to carry this. See this? Much easier. And no one is the wiser. One for me, one for number two. Tabo is number one for my number two. Next up we have this. This one doesn't require power, but at the same time that means you're getting ice cold water. This thing is just going to go underneath the existing seat. So this is the T-adapter uh, we're going to be installing. This side is going to go connect where that hose was previously and the other side is going to go to the bidet attachment. All right, so we got our protection on, hopefully uh, prevent any accidents. So let's go ahead and see how this unit works. So just two simple controls, front and rear. And uh, yeah, you just turn it to the side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that goes hard. Depending on how far you turn, that is the amount of pressure that you get. And that is already a that's already a good amount just at that little amount. But this goes all the way to 90 degrees. I don't even want to. Oh my god. <laughs> if that's not gonna get clean, I don't know what will. You can go ahead and turn the dial, but be careful. It almost came out the other side. I can be a bit strong. Almost taste lumpia from yesterday. Tasty naman. Uh. So just lightly to here. Meh. Malabig ng water but more refreshing than bothersome. On the plus, you can clean your walls easily. No way! Next up is this bad boy. Look at all those functions. And there she is. Pretty similar install to the last one, uh, other than, of course, the electric plug. Another big difference is that you can't turn it on unless the seat senses that a butt is on it. Or there's a sensor right here on the side, so if I just put my hand there, 
you can see it kind of activate to tell you that it is uh, in fact working. So there should be no unintentional wall cleaning events. So everything's controlled with this wireless remote. Uh, just get a closer look right there. A breakdown of the different features, I guess, as compared to the non-powered version. Uh, it has a nightlight. It has a seat warmer. The water itself is also heated, uh, so no frosty bumps. And this thing also has a dryer function, but unless you're planning to sit here for like 10 minutes, it's totally not worth it. So just like last time, protection is in place. And we're going to go ahead and do a posterior wash. <laughs> Much more gentle than the previous one, that's for sure. So um, you can adjust the water pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Did I go too far? Oh, I took my hand off. Duh. So that's the max, and that's much more reasonable. I can feel the warmth of the water uh, through this saran wrap. I'll just show you how the dryer works. I'm gonna go ahead and press that. Oop. You can see there's a flap that opens up, a little vent, providing some drying action, but again, it's gonna take a very long time. What is this? NASA Ako? My launching spaceship to Mars? There's a bunch of settings, but once you get it the way you like it, you're good. Seat is very comfortable. It's like I'm back home, sitting on the beaches of Orakai. Oh no? My massage function then? Even the water is warm. Okay, leave me here. This is how I will finally get hemorrhoids. Ha. <sighs> So that was a bit of a different video, but on a very important topic. As far as which bidet is the right choice, that's an entirely personal decision. For me, the added comfort of the more expensive model is well worth it. And as uncomfortable some people are talking about it, it is something that we're supposed to be doing every day. So might as well make it enjoyable. As far as the other models, they're okay and they get the job done, but so does this. See you in the next one. Bye.